when you look at the history of big social movements and big social change, it's usually young people who initiate this. Let's give them the voice that they actually that they actually have because a lot of the time they do have a voice, but they don't understand how, how powerful their, their voice is. I didn't start off with the thought that I was gonna end up being the president of the United States. If I had had more talent, uh, I would have probably preferred to be a professional athlete uh, <laughs> like Marcus. Marcus, I think, is way ahead of where I was at 23. I was still trying to figure it out. For me, being in, in sports, I just knew that my life could change very, very quickly. And if I wasn't like mature enough or you know, at a certain level in, in my own head, then it makes stuff like fame and and bits like that even more difficult to, to cope with. Through books, you can you can grow yourself in whichever way you want. Rather than somebody keep telling me to do this and do that, uh, books allowed me to just do it my own way. Entire worlds are possible in books. You can grow and, 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 and discover and make connections that you might not otherwise have made just by the simple act of picking up and opening a book. When you look at the history of big social movements, and big social change. It's usually young people who initiate this. If you give someone a, a helping hand at a young age, they'll go on to do things that, you know, even they didn't think or believe that was achievable to accomplish. My mother had is the one who had planted this love of reading or this impulse towards reading in me. Through books, you can, you can grow yourself in whichever way you want. Rather than somebody keep telling me to do this and do that, uh, books allowed me to just do it my own way.